I'm gonna do an update on my trumpet. It's whoa, my hair's flipping very odd. Yeah, I haven't had a haircut in a while. But yeah, I get off task really easily. First, I'm gonna show you my mouthpiece. I got a new one. Tyler gave it to me, or musical loud vlogger, stuff like that. It is a picket brass. Get brass mouthpiece. It is a 1.5 BC slash 22. It's a big mouthpiece. Big back bore. Very nice. I love it. I put on big equipment since I have an MF1 along with this big mouthpiece. Yeah. Oh well, it's my. I just polished it too, so it looks pretty good. I have a little dent in it though. A little flat part right there. Yeah, I dropped it. I need to be better on my equipment. But this trumpet's about to be retired too. I'm getting a new one soon. It's gonna be a marching one though. Okay, let me show it to you now. Okay, here it is again. My nice MF1. I took the valve guard off. It's got pretty ugly valves, but you know, that's what you get. Okay, now I showed you guys that. My pinky ring is broken off. Now, that thing's broken off. I gotta get this soldered back on. Third valve slide ring. Good thing it has this thing, otherwise this would just fall out all the time. Then when I got this broken off, I discovered that I dented it too. I dented it right there. Got a good size dent in it. Mm, made me sad. And then, I figured out I have a crack in the lead pipe. So I got tape on it. Yeah, this is my marching horn now. My jazz trumpet. It's very nice, still. I love it, still. It's still my baby. I'm still never going to give it up. I just polished it, too, so it looks really nice. It's very, very shiny. It's got a nice aged look to it. I mean, it's a good trumpet. It's just got a few things wrong with it. They want to replace this when I took it up there. They want to replace the lead pipe, but I said no. I'll just... I'll leave it like that. I'll leave it like that with the little thing. I'm just going to give it a bath and stuff and get these things soldered back on. And then I have the pearl buttons, lightweight springs, all that jazz. Very nice trumpet. Nice slides. Nickel plated. Very nice compression here. I'll let you hear it. And for my ugly face. Here in a second. Very nice compression on that. And then this one. It's not bad. It's got very nice compression on these valves. On these slides. I know that's bad to do that on the trumpet, but it shows the compression and then this I can't even get it out it's got a really tight it's got a really tight bent here that's just how it is I can barely get that slide out just the way it's made but yeah the new trump yeah I'll turn the camera back on me but yeah the new trumpet I'm getting it is a Jupiter 1602s XO trumpet I tried it out along with a box Stradivarius model 37 and a Yamaha Zeno, and I tried my friends, or musical loud vloggers, Bach Strad, Model 72, from the 70s, I think. It's got gold plated slides and stuff. I tried that one out. I really like it. It's a really nice trumpet, but I like the Jupiter better. And then I tried out my friends, Blessing, and I've tried out, um... I've just tried out a lot of different trumpets. My favorite one is that, um, <laughs> what's it's called? Jupiter trumpet. It's a very nice trumpet. I have a lot of hair. Wah. Anyways, yeah, that's my trumpet. My baby. Oh, it's back to bed.